Hey Chris, so you see it right there, huh? Yeah. No wonder I couldn't get in here on my own. Oh, because of it's because <laughs> you needed a ticket. I don't remember the difficulties. They were they were insurmountable. That's all I can recall. <clears throat> it's ninety-five. Twelve o'clock. No, oh, no, it's later than that. It's oh, quarter. Qu well, it's quarter to one where we are. Okay. And he said we'll be back by two. So the exterior shell is just a crust. Now, if you have not used sandstone in your hand, you take a piece of that like this, and pour some water right on top of it, it will gain weight. The water weight that you pour into it, because it's so coarse, it'll take all that water. And then when it's full, it'll drip. Once it's fully saturated, it becomes very soft. So you can take it, press it, and then you'll have a what pile of rock. Come on, this way. Six, seven, and Ah, those are different. So standing outside in the, inside the sun versus standing in the shadow right here. Now that's because the sandstone still has moisture. Come on, that's a little bit more. Let's walk around. So when you walk in here, it feels cool right here. So when you turn around the corner, it even cools off more. Wow. As you guys look up from the top right here, you'll see some white lines. You see the white lines right here? That is actually that snow that melted in on the top and then it came down saturated and then leached out right here making the hard water line. If you look over here you will see calcium right here, calcium deposit right here. Come on. Come on, Yeah. One more trip. One more trip. Then we'll go to Flagstaff and buy a new one. So if you look right here you see calcium deposits right here like this. And that's leaches through hard water. And then if you take a photo, take one from right here, and you'll get this Use your widescreen. Do your .5 or your .6, .7, depending on you got an iPhone or an Android. Can you take a look at your widescreen? What happens is the light hits here on the floor, it reflects on the walls on the side. Mm -hmm. everything. That's what? Just when you use a real light angle. 
Thanks for including me in this. Thanks for coming. Sandstone, but this, so this is a crust. This is much harder. Stand in the light. Stand. There you go. Perfect. One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. Thank you. Come over here to the side. Next. Next. One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. Thank you. Next. Get a chance to go into Jackson. You might enjoy that town too. They got a cowboy bar there, a cowboy restaurant. They got a, a, a park where the four entrances are lined in like 10 foot tall stacks of antelope horns, interlocking like a flower wreath. Pretty cool. I presume it's still standing. I'm good. Next. I got the backup on that. Ready?
Maar ze klikken dan af. Hey guys, move to your right hand side. Over here on the side. Right hand side. Dust on the sun. Ready? Yeah. What? Right there. Stand there? Oh, yes. picture. passing guy that's come through has taken some sand from the floor and thrown it on the sunlight. It must mean something. piece of wood up there. Might be a story behind it. Ain't that nice? Wow. This is as cool as it gets. sold for six million dollars. A photo. Not a painting. Not a Leonardo da Vinci painting. It was, it was Peter Lake's photo. 
that's what sold for six million dollars. And that, in that photo, they had that login. So when we bring people that follow these people, they, they always go, "This is the police." And we're like, "Why?" Because there's no login. So if the flood comes in, takes out the water, we gotta make sure they're find it in the washer. Uh, True story. Can they think that? That looks like nose in the rock. That is actually a a present. If you look right there, you just see. Oh, come on, come on, baby. You can do it. So if you look right here, it's the nose, it's the eyes, it's the wig, right here. You see the mouth. See that? It's mane right here. Right there. It's running in the wind. Okay. We're gonna lose this light, so if you guys want to picture with the light beam, we need to make sure it doesn't happen to make it happen. Yes, no? Go ahead. Oh, oh. absolutely. Thank you. You're very welcome. You see it? You got to, my brother. Thank you. Look at that. Look like you're Excellent. from heaven. Different job. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, you going to send it? Yes. Let's go. It looks like it all looks the same. Like, I like <laughs> paper. I like 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 Next. Oh, that's so good. 
Must be better here, Dad. What? Maybe better here. Oops. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. So what you do is you, like, here, put the exposure. Did I take it? Yeah, you can put the exposure. So, does that go, go away after a moment? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, when you when you go to take, yeah, it's oh, just really good. pointing you on where you're gonna. So, so what did you do? So all you're doing is you touch the screen. If you want to focus on something specific, you touch it there, and then we'll focus on that, and then you can slide that up and down to play with the aperture. Who knew? Stand here, Dad. Here. Now look up. Oh, stand here. Now look up. Whoa. <laughs> it's good everywhere here. Yeah. This is good here too. Stand here and play with your exposure a little bit. And here. Come on to me. You guys want to be in the photo right here? With the light beam? Yes. Okay, ready? got stuck from the flood, from a flood. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Go ahead, keep scooting up. Go into that room. Yeah. 
to remember is when you touch it, it gives you the box. That's your focal length. That's what it's, the camera's going to focus oh. on. So just be mindful of that if you focus on something that's 12 feet away versus 40 feet away. That's, that's why. Well, that's what I just took. Hmm? Well, what I'm, yeah, I'm just saying, if you blow that up and you look at how if this is in focus versus way back here, you'll see the difference, the depth. Your eye can see it, the camera can't. Yeah, the camera can't. This is our halfway point. It is back there, it's 85 feet. Right here, it's 95 feet. You can see the tip of the rock right there. Way up there, you can see it, way up there. 95 feet. And then you'll see right here, you'll see a full grown cedar tree that was uprooted and brought down into the canyon. Yeah. Now, when the canyon, when the water meets the canyon on the other side, it's usually about three feet. But when you put a tree up there like that, all that volume, oops, all that volume has to be made up so it comes in like this, comes into your bottleneck, and then it goes upwards. When it does that, it becomes pressurized. So the water comes through here, washes through the whole canyon, going like this. The next day, we come back and we do a tour because right underneath where it gets wet like this, you can go like this, it'll be just as dry. Because okay. the water's coming through here so fast, it just creates a crust over the top of it. The sides and the walls do not get anything. It just gets wet, that's all it does. It doesn't penetrate, I mean, it doesn't saturate to make it soft. Otherwise, this canyon wouldn't be here if it was, come, yeah, it would just collapse. But since it doesn't have a time to um, soak into the walls, it doesn't collapse. That's why we can walk through here 150 million years later and go, wow! Okay. So, there's another beautiful shot right there. There's a beautiful light beam shot right there that you guys can take before those people start walking into it. Or did the animal things free Yeah, no, you have it down a little bit. All around here. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice, nice picture. You just can't go around here. No, I want to really try to do this. You can right here. Look at that. You can play with the exposure a little bit. Get it until you like it. If you were in here alone, you know, you'd be able to really take your time with a nice camera. A picture right here. Try it right here, right where I'm standing. Take it, take it. Yeah. It's, okay. it's, it's, uh, giving you, it's giving you more light because yeah. it's so dark. It's pulling it through.
Exposure afterwards as well. Yeah, you can play with the exposure after. Yeah. All right. Oh, group yeah. photo or? Mm -hmm. Okay, group photo. Oh, yeah. Great, great photo. Oh. Yeah, I think this is yeah. one of the views you see in the magazine. Yeah. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Ready? Yep. Get a group All right. Okay, go ahead. had to put in the second camera. Do you think camera? I should spend the $50,000 yes. to do that interview with um, an AI that takes six days and asks 10,000 questions and then his grandchildren, his grandchildren could actually talk to a 
3D image of me. I think it's like a hundred grand or something <sighs> like that. Do they have like layaway and installments? I don't know about that. Are, are you did, sure they're going to find you interesting? I did. I did read an article. It said if you can live to the year 2030, maybe 2035, they'll be able to take your whatever they call it a view and your put consciousness it, and put it in a machine of some kind. Oh, what's happening? I definitely think you should. I'll talk to you. Oh, you can yeah. at least guarantee that Anna will talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know it's Anna good enough. Will. You know Anna will. Hi. Hey, hon. Did it meet your expectations? Oh, yeah. This was this was all you, your yeah. list. This oh, never came up on any any, picture, list, any uh, list of mine. One, two, three. Thank you. Got it. Now move. All right. Well, that was good. Hey, can we get the ride back? It's quite cool in there. Oh, so nice. Nope, my watch isn't giving me anything. No, I got water. Because I don't have my phone with me. Although there's the Sand Dunes National Monument, that is the king of the mountain. Far sand there. the lists from now on. <laughs> make the lists and I'll make the arrangements. Yeah. Worth the pilgrimage. It wasn't so bad. Because they're stopping yeah, that's every true. hour. That's that, that was helpful. There are some classes that I've taken where the you know, teacher was like, you know, top of the hour till 10 to that's class 10 minutes be back we start sharp 
Yeah, it's if it's a three hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, think? about me putting together that class, the guy who recruited me basically died. What? Yeah, the guy who leads education for the whole organization no died. And at that point, with Horseshoe and Performance, I just was like, well, <laughs> I wasn't going to get it done anyway. But I did get a really good start on all of it. How did he get there? He's gone back through the canyon. Through the canyon, okay. I take care of my elder. That's your dad. It was good that you took mercy on him. Oh, I sent oh. him back through the canyon. Oh. Thank you. I didn't want him walking up here. Huh? He would have had to stop. Oh, so he's having a little hard time with the sand so that's my first test. Uh-huh. 
Oh yeah. Well, the camera, the first camera died right at the end of the canyon. It just got too hot. So I think if I just keep swapping them out, I'll capture a lot. One SIM card, it's 512 uh, gig. You know, half a terabyte on a SIM card. I got let off over here at Parkland. I worked, uh, worked here during the day, but I started working at another side job. Mm -hmm. And I was working during the day because it wasn't working out for the pandemic. Started. And then they were demolishing the Parkland. Mm -hmm. So I was working there at night, working at the board shop in the daytime. Mm -hmm. And I fell over. I thought I was just exhausted. Right? No. I found it too late. Yeah. 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 Oh, there you go. Okay. 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 Okay.
In the shade. Oh! 